right? The fifth objective of the network is to administer, this is where it all comes together, administer safe, effective applications of low force to affect the nervous system's capacity to enhance precognitive and cognitive self-awareness. This process is also believed to promote self-regulation of adverse mechanical core tension through the uh, natural oscillatory patterns of the associated tissues. But wait, there's more. There's a sixth objective, and that is to evaluate, and I don't know of any other technique that has this as an objective. Uh, correct me if I'm wrong, I'd really love to see that. Uh, this is to evaluate the efficacy of the above by relating the applications of NSA care to practice member or the recipients of NSA self ratings regarding their wellness and quality of life, and to conduct uh, research to investigate the hypotheses advanced uh, to the above objectives of the network. Now, you guys have to, this is like imperative if you practice in the clinic or want to be in the clinic system, uh, to talk to Dr. Katherine Horace and have her explain those outcome measures that we use in there because there are things that you can and can't say based on the information that you gather from them and this is the best way that you can express wellness to your patients. All right, This is, in their words, they're answering these questions and you can say, well, you know, when you first came, you weren't as happy as you are now. You know what I mean? It's a good thing. All right, so advances in clinical research. Uh, these were the, this is what's been inspired since 1995 uh, when the research all kind of hit the ground running. And there were refinements of the levels of the care applications, development of sub-levels of care, and congruent practice member uh, outcomes and assessments. I, I was introduced to, uh, to the network, like I said, in the 90s, and all they had back then was level one, level two, and level three of care. Well, based on the research that they've done, it's been, uh, particularly that, that 2018 uh, member study that they did, uh, they, they created sub-levels for each level of care. And as a result, they're getting better results. Patients are more satisfied, doctors are asking better questions, and the results are coming out uh, more congruent with what it is that they're actually claiming to achieve. And um, so, Basically, I have some more notes, but my time is running short. I'm going to uh, speed up. I want to go to the next slide, because this is the study in, in a digital form. Uh, at the top, what you're looking at is a, you know, a, a, a brief definition of health, right, as defined by the medical dictionaries. Now, in the darker green circles, there's wellness, healthy lifestyles, and network care. Wellness, we're going to refer to it as health for now. And healthy lifestyles include network care or chiropractic, but we're going to extract, they extracted that from healthy lifestyles for the purpose of the study and then assess three areas of network. People who had a healthy lifestyle prior to, begin, prior to starting network care reported a 0.22 correlation to wellness to any of these at the top. People who were under network care uh, after they began network care, reported a doubling of that, to a correlation of 0.429 to health. But as we all know, people that come to the chiropractor's office get introduced to lots of different things, and so their innate response is to gravitate towards more health. And these people did the same thing, and of those that uh, experienced healthier choices in life, their correlation to health, to uh, wellness, went up three times. And I think that's very optimistic. It's very hopeful for us as chiropractors that, you know, we can actually change the world. You know, that guy, the person who is closer to health and wellness is less likely to cut you off on the freeway. Right? I mean, it's just little things. And we take for granted. And this is how chiropractic can help. You know, not only with the, the, the limits of low back pain and uh, neck pain and all those things that we're so great at. Okay? Any questions?